Welcome to the Society for Clinical Research Sites Diversity Site Assessment Tool Overview and Instructional Video, part of the SCRS Diversity Program. Establishing a diverse patient population in clinical trials is integral to optimizing drug and device development. While this tenant is well known in the clinical research community, there are significant barriers to including diverse patient participants in research studies. These barriers are inherently internal to the clinical research site and its immediate study pipeline and manifest externally in the community. In order to address these obstacles and advance inclusion, SCRS launched the SCRS Diversity Program in 2016. The central feature of the program is the SCRS Diversity Site Assessment Tool, or DSAT. The DSAT is an intuitive self-assessment tool developed by SCRS to evaluate a site's practices in study enrollment and performance in order to pinpoint areas of opportunity to successfully facilitate inclusion. When a site engages the DSAT, the tool populates meaningful queries that analyze intra and intra environmental factors influencing the site's understanding of their ability to recruit diverse populations. The DSAT captures the site's responses and generates a report that includes a numerical score representing the site's current use of best practices for attracting and ensuring the participation of diverse groups. We'll now go through the instructional process for navigating the DSAT tool. The DSAT tool is located under the diversity tab on myscrs.com website, SCRS's homepage. After you click the link to the DSAT tool, you'll be taken to a landing page explaining the program and tool in more detail. As you see on the screen here, if we were to navigate to the diversity tool and select diversity site assessments, this would be the landing page we are presented with. When a user selects Start Survey, they are taken to the Demographics Information Collection page. This information is kept completely confidential and is used only to stratify this data. We ask questions such as describing the type of site you work at, the respondent's role at the site, and their SCRS membership status. I went ahead and filled this page out with example information. After the respondent selects Continue, they are taken to the tool's main survey page. The three sections with some brief instructions are displayed. They then can enter each of the sections and proceed through the associated survey for each by selecting Take Survey. We'll start with the first section. The respondent can review each question and make the applicable selection on a range from no opportunity to observe all the way up through hardly ever to always with the options displayed here in between. A selection for each question must be made. When the respondent is satisfied with their answers, they then select submit. I've again filled our survey out with some example information and I'll click that submit button. They are then taken back to the main survey page where section one now displays a completed status as well as a score for that section. These scores are not only numerical based on a weight of the answers, but a graphical representation is also given to help qualify this score on a scale from emerging, developing, proficient, and exemplary. After the subsequent sections are completed and scores are received for each of them, a document is produced that contains individual scores for each of the sections, as well as an overall score. The document contains the information of the individual who completed the tool for download to keep or print for their records. This numerical score ranges from 0 to 150, with 150 being the gold standard for diversity and inclusion. Sites that receive a lower DSAT score are able to understand the key factors that impede an inclusive environment and can engage in the resources included in the SCRS Diversity Program repository for targeted improvement. Sites that receive a higher DSAT score can use it as a marketable metric to attract new studies from sponsors and CROs. Your survey results are not associated directly with your site or you personally. All the data is owned and held by SCRS and is de-identified by name and site. This means the aggregated data is used for general assessments as a pool of information versus any individual collection of data by name. Note that there is a six month window for completion. In order to allow our sites to implement improvements and changes indicated through the results, as well as preventing the data from being skewed from inadvertent retakes of the survey. We appreciate your time and attention to this overview of the SCRS Diversity DSAT Diversity Site Assessment Tool. Thank you.